Hey guys, take a look at the video. If you guys in today's video, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot and fix your iPhone if you're not getting trust this computer when you plug it onto your computer. Now, this is important because in order to do anything with your computer on your iPhone, you need to be able to get this pop-up alert so that you can click on trust and it can start pretty much working with your computer but if it doesn't show up you're going to have a lot of issues and this is why you want to troubleshoot it so here i'm going to show you a couple things you want to do so the very first thing whenever you're having this issue is simply just unplug it and plug it back and sometimes when you plug it in one time it doesn't recognize it so usually i like to just take it off and then plug it back in and wait for a moment and once it's as you can see here when it's showing it's charging that means it's plug connection is on and it might show up or it might not again here it doesn't show up so let's move on to the next troubleshooting step which is this time again we're going to unplug again and then pull down the control menu from my iphone put it on airplane mode briefly and then turn it back off and then again same thing i'm going to go ahead and plug it back on right and wait for it to see if it can recognize the trust alert come up here it might come up again it might not again also on your computer if you have itunes you want to go ahead and open up itunes in my case would be finder on a newer macbook you can open up the finder app so you can go ahead and open up finder as well so after you have done that right you open up finder and it's still not working the next thing you want to do is go ahead and force restart your iphone so you're going to, for this one you're going to unplug again and you might be wondering how do I do a force restart? Well, it's going to be simple. You're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down one after another. And then hold this side button until the screen goes completely black. And then you'll see the Apple logo reappear at that time. You'll let go of that button and then it will have done a force restart. So I'm going to do volume up, volume down. And then I hold this side button until the screen goes completely black, right? I'm going to wait and as you can see the screen went completely black that's fine though and then we're going to wait for the apple logo to appear and then we're going to wait till it normally boots up to our main screen at that time we'll put in your phone's passcode again to get back into your phone and then we're going to plug it back in so we're going to be back on our phone you might have to enter your passcode if you have one and then we're going to go ahead and before you plug it in the other thing you want to do on your computer or macbook whatever it is also turn it off and turn it back on so usually depending on what kind of computer you have if you have a macbook you can just come down here restart here or shut down and then restart and then similarly same thing on like a pc or so and after you have done that finally you're going to go ahead and reconnect again on with the cable again and see if that message comes up again now let's say that message doesn't come up what's the next thing you want to do in order to troubleshoot well, the next thing you want to do in order to troubleshoot is while you're connected here, we're going to go into your settings. This time, we're going to go unplug it, right? After we unplug it, we're going to go to general here. And then after you go to general, go all the way down where it's transfer reset iPhone. We're going to click on that and then do a reset here. And the reset we want to do is location and privacy. And then it's just going to reset any settings like the location and privacy it will not delete any of your personal data so all your photos videos app will be fine click on that give it a moment and it should have reset it and this time again same thing we're going to go ahead and plug in to the computer again one more time give it a moment to see if that trust comes up as you can see here now this trust comes up this time now let's say it didn't come up for you what else can you do well the next thing you can do is again it's going to be the same thing on your settings unplug it and then and this time again same exact process you're going to be in the settings you're going to go general go all the way down to transfer reset iphone click on reset and this time you're going to do a network reset which is a second option this will pretty much delete any settings like the wi-fi settings if you have a wi-fi password any bluetooth connected devices but again will not delete any of your personal data and it's necessary to, to do that if you're still not getting trust this computer message come up now after you have done that and it's still not working right the next thing you want to check is that the time and the date on your iphone and matches your computer or your macbook so in your settings on your iphone you're going to go to general 
and then you're going to look for date and time and ensure that your time zone is correct and the time is correct if it's not correct you can only set it manually as well so you can adjust this manually by clicking on these but ideally you want it to be automatic same thing on your macbook or pc you can adjust it accordingly but the time has to match up so that it can trust each other and after that go ahead of course plug it in and hopefully by then now the computer can trust and then message pops up now let's say it's still not working what else can you do well the next thing you can try to do is that you can try to update your iphone if you can through wi-fi so how can you do that again you're going to unplug here go to settings general go all the way down all the way up here where it says software update you can click on that and check for update of course you need to be connected to wi-fi here as i mentioned I'm, i got disconnected here but basically once you connect here which once i'm connected i will go back to general software update and check for update it'll check for update and if there's an update it will show up like this and you can click on update now again this is going to be on wi-fi so make sure that Again, you have at least 50% or more charge if not connected to a charger and update your iPhone. Same thing if you can if you have a MacBook, I recommend going into your settings and then look for if there's an update again, you'll follow the same exact process. We can go to settings and updating your MacBook to the latest version so that the versions are compatible and you can able to connect your iPhone with your computer. So that's it in terms of troubleshooting your computer and iPhone to get trust this alert hopefully it's working for you and if you found a better way to fix the problem also let us know in the comment section and thanks for watching guys and see you guys next time